How you doing, Wilbur Snapper? Good. Cameras are on, Hepsi, just so you know. Okay. Dave goes back. Dave goes back. Just you. Just Did you want to start? I didn't think I didn't Arms that were spin back. Even bent down, back and forth. Corner, Bruce. Big fits with circle. Yeah. Oh. I'm excited to have white teeth, but it's going to take a while. Yeah. I'm going to get some more, but I have a bunch of implants first. Scoop and extend. Yeah. 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 
I still have all four of them with them. I knew that. I could tell. On such a wide Yeah. I knew. I knew it. Pinch and round. We have a. You know why they use the idiomatic expression long in the tooth? The people that are older people? No. Stand up. Hello. Too many tooth jokes. Although I do have one. Sometimes I get my tongue wrapped around my eye tooth so I can't see what I'm selling. Thanks, the charms. And then the other day I did meet the dentist of the year from the state of Washington. You know what they gave him for an award? I can't wait to hear. Yeah, just a little plaque. Shoulders over and hips. Good. From here, I want you to walk those feet out wide. Take your left toe, point it away. Turn to face that left toe. Both hands on your thigh. Push those hips slightly back and slide down as far as you can. If you go to the ground, if you're that flexible, Back up, turn that foot back in, 
and then the right leg. Both hands slide down the right leg towards the ground. Up, rotate that foot forward, push those hips directly back, trace both hands down, and bring yourself forward. Still sitting back into those hips. Wide today, outside the shoulder width, pretty wide, real wide side of that. Bring that wide strap up and back as far as your straight arms will let you go. And rotate that all the way back forward. Just like your knees, keep your elbows locked out. Slowly move that back and forth. Good, then I want you to go in about eight inches. And the same thing, should be slightly less flexible now with a more narrow grip. Bring it back to that tension point and then forward again. One more time, grab about eight inches in. Your most narrow, almost to our shoulder width now. Just hands a little bit wide of the shoulder. And one final stretch. That above the head, throw one hand behind the neck and release that strap so it's dangling back behind your back. Slide that free arm along your low back until you can grab. Pull down on that strap so that elbow is up high, tight by the head. So, what I want you to do is you're going to turn towards the elbow that's up, not all the way, don't face it. About halfway to the elbow, and then I want you to bring it ear away. So my chin's going to stay kind of rotating straight up as I bring that ear down until you feel that stretch.
Bring your head back up, face nice and straight this time, and then just bring your ears straight over to the side. Away from the elbow this time. Bring that back to center. Turn that chin one more time, but this time slightly away from the elbow that's up. And again, bring that chin and head forward and down. Good, head back to center, and then lift up on that strap, tuck in that lower arm, up and under the shoulder blade, and then bring that strap over to hold that stretch. Make sure you're postured up nice and straight, that shoulder pull back. Bring that arm up. And let's take those arms up and down through your range of motion. Stop me back behind the neck one more time. Release that low hand. Change positions with the high hand. Re grab low. Pull down tight. Up to the head. Turn slightly to face and bring that chin down. Start away as you go down from that elbow. Bring that head back up straight, and then again away from the elbow, and just bring your ear to the shoulder. Bring that head back upright, turn that chin away from that upright elbow. Getting this, it should be moving all around the neck, the trap, the scapula, back through the legs. Bring that chin back to center and pull up on that strap now. Tucking that low arm up over the shoulder blade one more time. Bring that strap around the relax that upper arm.
I'm up. Up and down for that range of motion. Then we're going to relax that. Let go of that strap. Re grip it behind the back. Down low. Pull the shoulder blades back. Put the shoulder arms down. Pop that rib cage up. And pull the strap away from your body. Sit back into your hips, bringing your chest forward and the hips go back. And then those arms up and over. Bring those arms down, hips back underneath you, and you can set your shot down. <laughs> Side of the chair series. <coughs> Remember, just out of reach. Slide in the toe, slide the outside leg over. Now we should be able to touch. Push those hips straight behind us, sitting back, keeping your spine straight. Chair, lean your body weight onto it. Tuck those hips underneath you before you sink your head into the chair. Hi, Tim. Hip back underneath us, taking that free hand out of the chair, reaching down, grabbing the back foot, leg hits in the rear, pulling up into that quad stretch. Yeah. You can it too. Release that foot, bring it down around the front, and pick it up above the knee. Keeping your back straight, sit back into your hips.
Bring yourself up out of that. Take that leg that was crossed, bring it out to the front, and bend that ankle over to the side. Relax your foot back to straight. Turn to face the back of that chair. Walk yourself backwards. So you can sit back into your hands and drop your head through. Those hips back underneath, and then move that chair to the other side. Let's do the other side. This side of reach. Outside leg steps over. Use that chair to balance if needed, and push those hips back behind. Bring those hips back underneath it. Hand on, hips forward, sink that hip down. Bring those hips back, reach down, grab that back leg, hold up into the quad stretch. that foot, bring it around in front above the knee, grab hold of that shin, straighten that back and sit back into your hips. Bring that hip back underneath, foot out in front, and let that ankle and then 
word. Turn around to the seat facing. I'm assuming you guys are all just enjoying the sounds of the rain. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, you have yes. the same way. You have a very quiet bunch. Yes, it is. Bring that foot up. Which foot? <laughs> Make sure those hips are turned in towards that foot, straighten the back, tilt the hips backwards and bring that chest forward. Don't let those hips open. Force those hips closed while holding the stretch. From this stretch, pull that foot back towards your body. Keep tension on that hamstring. Just remember, this feels just like the relaxing, calm rain. <laughs> Back, forward, open up. You can step down if needed. Turn that right foot out 90 degrees. Again, straight back. Still those hips slightly behind you. And at that hip joint, shift your whole torso towards the foot that's in the chair. Good, bring that hip back underneath you. Yeah. We'll pull that foot off so we can face the chair one more time and switch to step position at the same way. Grab that chair for support on the back of the hand if you have them. And then drop yourself straight down so you're just upright. Push that leg back while you tuck those hips underneath you. It's into the hip flexor on that straightening back leg. But something else that was stretch that. My knee doesn't want to be that tight. Nothing. You can do it standing. You can do it standing. You can do it standing. Turn your foot the opposite way, not that foot, the back foot. Opposite. There you go.
pick those hips up, push them back behind you. So pointing in the air. Straighten that back. Tip those hips back. Push them back behind you. Bring your chest forward. Make sure that hip square towards the foot that's up in the chair. Line or either watch Hamilton. I tried. Don't know. Well, his other Emmy Award winning musical before Hamilton was made to a movie and came out today on HBO Max. Yeah. Inside. Just because he sort of a remake of West Side Story. No. No, he wrote it. No, it's his own story. Yeah. From this position, pull that foot. Oh, I don't care. Hamilton's brilliant. I loved it. I've watched it eight times. It's absolutely brilliant. I just don't like rap. It's not about rap. It really is about rap. Rap was just a way to touch in today's world. It's about the history and the story and what is it taught and told. And it's awesome. I'm loving the red color. It's like it moves too fast or something. Imagine what kind of world we live in if we taught real history. Really crazy. Bring that hip back in the knee and open it up. Toe in the air. Push those hips slightly back before we lean at that hip joint towards the foot that's in the chair. I watched, there's a documentary about the making of Lynn and Well Miranda. Where in New York does the Heights play the Ruins? The Heights. I don't really know the Ruins, but I know Van Ant is around the Ruins. Oh, yeah. Bring those hips back underneath. You take that foot off to reface the chair. That same foot goes up, but this time step it nice and flat. Sink it down in. Tuck that hip underneath you as you straighten that back leg out. If you have an issue of that, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. I'll work for you. <laughs> Even if it wasn't free, it's cheaper than a sprinkler system. <laughs> the new one's in theaters only, though, right? No. Nope. Oh, it's on TV. In theaters and HBO. Right. Yeah, HBO Max. We have the app. Or if you have HBO, like, Pick 
אתה עושה קצת? אה... מה back, forward, and off. We'll flip that shit around. Bruce and I are following at home, so let's do your favorite. Sit down. Before COVID hit Canada, Bruce at home was right over there, actually. He's an avid class taker, and especially a stretch, and he would always tell us this. Most people do with Bruce. Bruce. He's a wise man. He's a very wise man. Good. Let's take our right arm. Now we reach it back. Let the shoulders twist and bring it across the chest and pull it in. Let it go. Open it up. And pull it across. Again, open. Close. Two more times. Last one. Drop that arm, swing it all the way around, palms facing down. Grab the back of the hand, pull your hands forward. That, flip that hand over, grab the fingers, push that arm out straight, pull back on the fidgets. Put that hand over, grab those fingers and pull it back.
back into that chair. Back of the hands come up. And then let the palms swing down and through. Flip them over as they come up. Scoop them around.
actually, most spirits. spirits are now put in the little elastic. No, they haven't been so serving yeah. those. Yeah, if you go by minis at, at the liquor they store, they're almost always in plastic. They haven't been serving huh. the little minis. Uh-oh. You can still get some in glass, but there's a lot more plastic than you think about. Huh. Um, uh, American They are not serving alcohol. They're still Southwest and there. Southwest, maybe. Southwest and there. I guess, but I had so many people back there. Alcohol's behind all of that. Are you having flashbacks, Pepsi? Or friends. Yeah, no, no. Okay, we're going to bring both arms up. And I want you to turn, bring those arms down, push your hips back, swing through, around, and up. And we go the other way. Hips back, through, and up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that a step forward, but I'm going to lean back and turn the leg, push the head back, roll through, come um, around and back, and then back the way you came, lean, swim through, all the way back, let's do it again. Gonna keep those hands high, reach high to the ceiling, bring them down, lower yourself, deep breath in. Fill your chest as big as you can make it. Expand your ribs with the breathing. And exhale out. Inhale up. Yes, <laughs> no, that's Whitney Houston. <laughs> and exhale down. Inhale up. Again, fill the ribs. Feel them stretching apart. Press those shoulders down, chest up, and push that air out. This time let's open to our right. Keeping your left hand forward, inhale in. Exhale out. To the left. Exhale out. Inhale up. Lean back. And exhale down. One more time. In. Hold those ribs up, press those shoulders down. Push it out.